Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Gemfan Floppy Proppy 5.1 inch folding propellers. In this video I'm going to bench test these propellers using Mamoto's thrust stand and compare them with the Dalprop fold and then head outdoors and test out both options using the same setup. First of all in terms of packaging, just like the Dalprop fold, the Gemfan Floppy Proppy propellers come unassembled. They are available in different colors and inside the bag of props you can find 6 clockwise blades, 6 counterclockwise blades and 8 parts for assembling the propeller hub. When assembling the propeller, make sure that the Gemfan logo faces the top side and then assemble the same type of blades in the following manner. After making sure that you use the same type of blades by checking their orientation or the number that is written on the prop, you can go ahead and secure the hub using this part. In terms of specs, the diameter of this propeller is 5.1 inches, its pitch is 3.5 inches, and it supports Popo motors. In addition, the weight of an assembled propeller is 4.7 grams, so it's 0.5 grams heavier than the Dalprop fold. You should note that the propeller hub of the Dalprop fold is actually heavier than the propeller hub of the floppy proppies, and the weight difference is a result of the floppy proppies using heavier blades. The next thing that I've done is to bench test the Gemfan Floppy Proppy, Dalprop Fold and Gemfan Hurricane 5.1 inch propellers using Mamoto's thrust end and then headed outdoors and tested both folding propellers using the same setup. First of all, solely based on the thrust test, I can tell you that the Gemfan Floppy Proppy is the clear winner since its performance and efficiency are very close to a normal propeller. However, after testing both propellers using this quadcopter, I can tell you that unfortunately I can't trust the floppy proppies since two of the blades took a hike in the middle of the flight when using this setup with 6S batteries and pushing the throttle all the way up. You can be rest assured that I didn't install the propeller hub upside down which according to Gemfan can create this issue and in my opinion this is a result of heavier blades and a propeller hub which is not as robust and sturdy as the propeller hub of the Dalprop fold. Here you can see that after putting both parts of the propeller hub of the Gemfan Floppy Proppy, I can still separate them quite easily using my hands. Unlike the propeller hub of the Dalprop Fold, which is much more secured, and it is almost impossible to separate both parts just using your hands. In addition, it's worth mentioning that the motorbell shape is a part of the equation, as the one with the flat top will reduce the chances of the blades popping out. So overall, based on my tests, Probably the ultimate 5.1 inch folding propellers would be ones that are going to use the Dalprop fold hub and the Gemfan floppy proppy blades, but unfortunately these two parts are not compatible. Finally, it's worth mentioning that a friend of mine has been using the Gemfan floppy proppies for the last month and I didn't experience this issue even once, so I only shared with you my experience using this setup and your experience may vary. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video and now I'm going to show you the thrust test and the flight footage. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and as always if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.